Ever wondered why we only see one side of the moon from Earth? It's not camera shy, it's tidally locked. You see, tidal locking is a cosmic dance, a gravitational waltz, if you will, between two celestial partners. This gravitational interaction ensures that an astronomical body like our moon always presents the same face to the object it is orbiting, in our case, the Earth. Let's think about this for a moment. Imagine being at a party, dancing with a partner. You're spinning around the dance floor, but no matter how you twirl, you always keep your eyes locked on your partner. That's what the moon is doing with the Earth. It's spinning, it's rotating, but it's always keeping its gaze or its same side facing us. Now, a common misconception is that the moon doesn't rotate, but that's not the case. The moon does rotate, but it's doing this rotation at the same rate it's orbiting the Earth. That's why we always see the same side. It's a perfectly synchronized dance, a cosmic tango, where every move is matched with the music of the universe. But why does this happen? Well, it's all down to gravity. The gravitational pull between the moon and the Earth is not uniform. It's stronger on the side of the moon facing the Earth and weaker on the far side. This difference creates a sort of gravitational torque that slows down the moon's rotation until it matches the rate at which it's orbiting the Earth. And voila, we have tidal locking! So the moon isn't being coy or hiding anything from us. It's just locked in a gravitational dance with the Earth, always showing us its best side. It's a fascinating phenomenon, a testament to the intricate choreography of cosmic forces at play in our universe. So, the next time you look up at the moon, remember that it's always showing you its best side because of tidal locking. Now you know what tidal locking is, but how does it happen? Imagine a cosmic dance between two celestial bodies. The larger body, let's say Earth, is the lead dancer, exerting a gravitational pull on its smaller partner, the Moon. This gravitational force is stronger on the side of the Moon closer to Earth and weaker on the side further away. This difference, known as gravitational gradient, causes a distortion or elongation in the shape of the moon, creating a sort of bulge. Now this bulge doesn't sit still, it tries to align with the direction of Earth's gravitational force, but here's the catch. The moon is spinning on its own axis, so the bulge is constantly being flung out of alignment. In response, Earth's gravity tugs on the bulge, attempting to pull it back in line. This constant tug of war between the moon's spin and Earth's pull results in what we call tidal friction. This friction acts like a brake, gradually slowing down the moon's rotation. Over billions of years, the moon's rotation slows down to the point where it becomes synchronous with its orbit around Earth. In other words, the moon takes exactly as long to rotate on its axis as it does to orbit Earth. This is why we always see the same face of the moon from Earth. The moon is tidally locked to Earth. It's a dance that took billions of years to perfect with the lead dancer, Earth, guiding the moon into a perfect synchronization. But this dance isn't exclusive to Earth and the moon. It's a common phenomenon in our solar system and beyond. It's a fundamental interaction between celestial bodies, a dance choreographed by the laws of physics and gravity. And remember, while we often think of the universe as a vast, chaotic expanse, there's a lot of order out there too. Much like a well-rehearsed dance, everything moves in harmony, guided by the universal laws of physics. So, tidal locking is like a dance, where the lead dancer, in this case the larger body, guides the smaller one into perfect sync. Tidal locking isn't just a phenomenon observed in our backyard, it's happening all around the cosmos. Take a look at Pluto and its moon Karen, for instance. They're a cosmic pair spinning in a graceful dance of gravity. Pluto and Karen are tidally locked each presenting the same face to the other at all times, a testament to the power of gravitational interaction. The same force that tugs at our oceans, causing tides, has over time synchronized the rotation of these two bodies in a ballet that is as beautiful as it is inevitable. But let's go even further. Beyond the confines of our solar system, in the vast expanse of the Milky Way, there's a growing belief among scientists that many exoplanets could be tidally locked to their stars. These are planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, some of them in the so-called habitable zone, where conditions might be just right for life to exist. Imagine a world where one side is in perpetual daylight, basking in the constant glow of its star, while the other side is locked in eternal night. 
This could be the reality for many tidally locked exoplanets. The implications of this are enormous. It has the potential to drastically affect the climate of these planets, creating extreme temperature differences between the day side and the night side. For potential life on these planets, this could pose significant challenges. Yet, it's not entirely unfeasible. Life on Earth has proven to be incredibly adaptable, thriving in environments as diverse as sun-drenched deserts and the dark depths of the ocean. Who's to say life couldn't adapt to the unique conditions on a tidally locked exoplanet? Tidal locking, far from being a rare event, might be the norm in the universe, shaping the climates and possibly even the life potential of distant worlds. So, as we continue to explore the cosmos, let's remember to look for the unexpected, the extraordinary, and the beautifully synchronized dance of tidal locking. So, to wrap up everything we've learned about tidal locking, it's an amazing cosmic dance where the gravitational pull between two celestial bodies causes their rotational and orbital periods to synchronize. This gravitational interaction is so powerful that it forces one body to always show the same face to its partner. This phenomenon is not just limited to our moon and earth, but extends far beyond in the vast universe. Scientists have discovered evidence of tidal locking in exoplanets within the Milky Way, which has opened up new frontiers in our understanding of these distant worlds. The research has also revealed that some of these tidally locked exoplanets are devoid of an atmosphere making their surface temperatures a direct result of this celestial phenomenon. And there you have it, tidal locking, the cosmic waltz that keeps us seeing the same face of the moon every night. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your mind open to the wonder.